Hi guys, and thanks for clicking on another video of my gear reviews. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this Umberta H11 um, head torch. It's super lightweight. I've been sent this um, to do a test and a review. I hope you like this video, so stick with me. And sh I'll show you what I think of this super lightweight torch. So, I must say, it's priced at $22.99. I didn't think much of it for the uh, price. I didn't think it was going to live up to expectations, what they're asking for it. But, Looking at it, comparing it against my other torches, it's a nice contender to an entry level um, head torch which is a rechargeable battery. You do get it inside this case, it weighs 45 grams, well that's what they say. But it, with all these weights on any gear reviews, it's give and take, so obviously you could get two of these torches and they, they could weigh slightly different, you, you, you just don't really know with, with this system. Um, with this one for the money it's a nice little torch i must say it is a basic looking torch but a lot of my other torches are quite expensive head torches i use i use the um Plessler running torches and i'm really impressed with it and the other thing that what i do like about the Plessler system compared to different brands what i've never really used before is that the reliability i do trust in in that system if you're up in a mountain you need to be able to trust so when this first came out for the price and i saw it and they sent it me I wasn't sure what you'd live up to, but yeah, really nice lightweight. I will be using this on some of my lightweight adventures. If you want to go super lightweight and you don't want to take a big torch, this is the way forward. You could be looking at this. I mean, this brand here, they use it in, um, it's more like a fishing brand. They do bivy um, torches as well, but they're trying to get into the outdoor market. So from here, you've got two torches there. You've got the on system one, two, and the red lights, so the red lights if you want to be a bit more stealthy, so um, if you're reading a map as such and you don't want people to see, you've got that system there. Then on the other side, you've got the one, two, and three. So it is super, really, really, really bright. You might be able to see from this video, I know we're inside, really, really bright. So for a lightweight torch, really nice. Now, on the inside there, you've got the um, charger there, so it's just your standing, the USB charger, the standard system. And you've got a ratchet system there, so it ratchets just down so you can adjust it to where you want to. So I've been carrying this one to be fair in my pack as an emergency backup torch. And the fit system is really nice, obviously really lightweight and you can adjust it to wherever you want it on there. You've got adjustment as well on the headlamp strap. So if you want a super lightweight um, torch to keep in your pack, Really nice. So if you're doing a bit of running in the P district and you want a, a lightweight torch, you can use this system because not everyone wants to spend that seventy pound on a head torch. Or if it's your first time using a head torch, it might be something you're on the lookout. Yeah. So on this here, you've got up to three hundred and sixty-five lumens of power. Obviously, if you're running on this super bright setting, your battery life is going to drop considerably. But if you're running it on the lowest setting, they do say it's up to twelve hours. However, I haven't tested that one, but this is what the guys say on, on the website. You do have flashing modes on this, and you use your flashing mode if you want to be seen, so you press and hold the buttons for three seconds, and you will get a flashing mode like that. So if you're on a bike, you can use it on there. So even though uh, they, they say it's a camping torch, you, you can use it for lots of different things. Dog walking, it'd be perfect. But the great thing you like about rechargeable torches is that you're not going to be relying on buying new batteries because we all know when we go out and then um, we need something we expect it there and then so if you will rely on a battery torch you've got to find the batteries i hate battery torches because what you do you you might get some batteries in your cupboard and it's loose in a packet you don't know whether it's been used so you, you need to be able to rely on them especially if you're going out for a long time years and years ago i had a battery torch um, and i was doing a fell run I was out in the Peak District and my main um, head torch, the power just went um, and since then I've always gone to rechargeable um, torches. So with this one, before I went out, I, I, I charge everything up, so whether it's my GoPro, my head torch, anything electrical, charge it up just before you go out, then you know it's 100% before you go out, you haven't got to rely on batteries. Um, the, the other thing as well with, with batteries as well, they're waste every single time you don't use them, you're chucking them into the, the, the ground, so um, something like this. So I'll put a link in the description below. Um, obviously, I'm not affiliated with this brand. I did get this torch sent to me um, to try out, and I did say to the guys, I will um, 
um, have a look at it and um, explain my thoughts. So it's not a top end torch if that's what you're looking for, but if you're looking for a torch on a budget system, this is a head torch you can be looking for guys. Hope you like my videos, check out all my videos that I've loaded, I've got over 30 up today on um, YouTube. So I've got the mix of the gear reviews, I've got the uh, mountaineering side of things and my wild camping. So hopefully this channel is going to grow even more, so like and subscribe and I hope you like the great outdoors. Keep safe guys.